welcome viewers to the first episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2024 August exams, which is the GCE. So in this paper, we are going to look at each question in details. We are going to break down each paper so that the moment you go through all these 23 questions, you should be able to answer any question. And just to emphasize, I do not just give answers, I teach. So I spend a lot of time to give you the context before I give you the answer. My goal is to help you understand. And if you haven't downloaded our companion app, please check in the link section where you see the link to the Google Play Store. You'll be able to find quizzes with detailed explanation for almost all the subjects. You'll be able to find biology, paper one, paper two, you are going to find accounts, commerce, and N subjects. The same app you'll be able to find also videos that are arranged in an easier way for you to revise and master the concept. The goal of the app is to help you prepare for your exams so that you are confident to pass your exams. So let us look at question one. Question one leads evaluate open bracket eight over twenty seven close bracket to the power two over three. Now the concept evaluate the same as complete simplify it means the same. So to answer this question you need to understand the indices because this is the principle that you are going to apply. So let us assume that you have this function x over y then this is raised to the power n over r. This implies that we have x to the power n over r divided by y n divided by r as the power. That's what this implies. Now if I take just one of the two, let me say I get x, x to the power n over r this implies that we have the r root of x raised to the power n. So n is the power, which is the numerator of the power. Then r, which is the denominator, is the root. So if r is equal to 2, then you have the square root. If r is equal to 3, we have the cube root. If r is equal to 4, we have the fourth root. Then n is the same, but n we are squaring or cubing or lazing to the power 4. That's what it implies. Now, using the same principle, you can answer now the question that we are facing. So, the question we are facing now is 8 over 27 to the power 2 over 3. Using this principle, we have 8, 2 over 3 as the power, then divide by 27. 2 to the power, 2 over 3 as the power, I mean. So, this implies that we have the cubic root, because R is 3, then the cubic root of 8, then this one we raise to the power 2, then over the cubic root of 27, we raise to the power 2. Now, in this case, that root is 3, means we are looking for a number that we can multiply itself by three times to give us eight. What is that number? So that number is a two because two times two is four times two is eight. So that number is two. So if you multiply two by itself three times, we get eight. So two, then the power, this power two remains because we are squaring what is the cubic root of 8. Then we have which number can we multiply itself 3 times to give us 27. So what is the cubic root of 27? So you see a 3. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 27. So I'm going to have a 3 down here. Now this square, the square is remaining a 2. So now we simplify this one. So this now gives me 2 times 2 is a 4. Then 
3 times 3 is a 9. So 4 over 9 is the answer. So once you do this, you get the two marks. So this is how you answer the first question, which is question 1. So please don't forget to download the app so that it helps you to prepare for the exams.